Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator and now we are going to discuss the gunshot questions of college geometry. These are all short, short questions which you can expect in your question paper. Okay, so without any further delay, let me tell you what are these questions. So do share the sessions with all your friends as well so that you know they are also not worried and they can prepare these questions. These are the most expected questions. Okay, so first thing is you will get a question asking saying that three points are collinear you need to find the value of k so here in this in this question what will you do when three points are collinear how will you find the value of k simply using area of triangle area of triangle equal to zero so if you use this concept you will get the answer okay area of triangle is half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 equals to zero substitute all the values take this as x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and substitute in the formula you will get the value of k now here in the question they try to just twist you a little twist a little so lunar eclipse if the position of sun moon and earth so in a lunar eclipse you have learned in your class 8 that sun moon and earth will be in the same line then only eclipse is formed so let it be solar or lunar they are in the same straight line sun moon and earth so when they are in the same straight line when the positions are given the points are given which means those are collinear points straight line points are collinear points so that's what we are trying to do it here okay these are collinear points so you need to find the value of k which means area of triangle is zero second question find the coordinates of point okay which which are divided in the ratio one is to two so i have two points let this be x1 y1 let this be x2 y2 i need to find the coordinates of a point p x y which is dividing in the ratio one is to two which means simple section formula right so m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 and m1 y1 m m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 so these are the coordinates you will solve to get x and y now the next question akhila says a 1 comma 3 b 2 comma 2 c 5 comma 6 5 comma 1 are collinear do you agree again the same point if they are collinear area of triangle should be equal to zero okay so here you will prove that area of triangle is zero then then if you get area of triangle is zero then you will say that these are collinear points in section num in question number two you see one is to two is point of trisection also dividing it in three parts if the same question if they ask you find the points of trisection of two comma three minus four comma zero then you will take two ratios one ratio is one is to two three parts one plus two second is three you can write as two plus one also so two is to one ratio also so two points of trisection you will get okay if as for the essay question they will ask you like this clear so that is also covered trisection is covered and collinearity concept is covered then they will ask you to show that the given points form a rectangle or they form a parallelogram or they form a square so in these cases what do you do see if it is a rectangle opposite sides you will be equal and diagonals will be equal so you will just find whether the opposite sides are equal so you will find distance formula a b b c c d d a find all the sides and you will see that a b will be equal to c d opposite sides and a c uh, not a c if a b c d is a triangle so a b will be equal to c d and here b d is equals to what is this value here a b c d so you will have a d equal to b c a b equal to c d and a b equal to b c and also the diagonals are also equal since it is a rectangle okay so if you can prove these three things then you will conclude that this is a rectangle okay similar model question they may ask you for square prove it is a square then all sides are equal and diagonals equal it will be a square okay next find the area of rhombus this they ask for essay question fifth and uh, sixth question are essay questions Acha fourth I missed. So fourth also once you see. So firstly let me explain sixth. So you need to find the area of rhombus taken these points are in order. So when the points are in order area of rhombus is nothing but half D1 D2. Isn't it? So diagonals how will you get diagonals are nothing but see. AC is one diagonal and BD is di one diagonal. Just find the distance AC and the distance BD. Okay using distance formula then multiply both of them uh, that is substitute in the formula of area of rhombus you will get the answer this was the essay question now question number three find the ratio in which x axis divides the line segment whenever it is x axis dividing line segment suppose line segment is like this this is x axis so this point is a point of division point of division will always be of the form x comma zero 
because it is on x axis okay so taking this point substituting in the section formula taking this as x1 y1 x2 y2 okay and this point is nothing but x comma y so equate what will you do you will equate after substituting in the formula you will equate the y coordinates okay because this y coordinate is zero from there you will get the value clear everyone so you will get the value and then you can substitute uh, and get your x value okay so here directly see then the point then the intersecting point they are asking okay if these two points are intersected by the by the x axis firstly you need to find the ratio then the point of intersection so first for ratio ratio i'm taking k is to one substitute this equate y coordinates because this is zero so you'll get the value of k after getting the value of k then substitute in the x why we are not taking x first because this x also we don't know and k also we don't know so two unknown values you'll have whereas if you take y coordinate first you'll get k value then k value you again substitute in the point you'll get x value so these are the only model questions from coordinate geometry. So within half an hour, you can complete this as well. So I wish you all the very best. Please complete these questions. These are the model questions. Same model you can expect in your board exams. Okay. So again, don't forget to share this with all your friends as well. I will see you all in the next chapter class. Okay. By then, uh, you please keep practicing this. And also don't forget that I am going to give you short short pass guarantee questions also these are done short questions which you know little more i'm giving you whereas uh, pass guarantee questions are direct you know different questions which we can expect in the question paper okay so i'll see you all people keep practicing keep uh loving smiling okay and uh, do share it with all your friends